Uh, hello and welcome. Uh, I want to explore a quick hand. What does two no trump mean? This probably isn't the video, video you think it is. Normally you see two no trump as uh, one no trump, two no trump. But this is not that video. This is entirely different. Let's look down here in the right hand side. And look at what we see. One diamond by partner. Uh, one spade. Ah, let me take this back. One diamond by me. One spade by partner. Two diamonds by me. Two no trump by partner. That's what I, that's the two no trump. We'll have a look at here real quick. So let's take this hand over to the hand explorer and look a little closer so same hand i'm north i opened uh west deals passes i opened i've got 12 high card points and a singleton heart i open with my diamonds i've got six of them one diamond east passes partner bids one spade right i've got six diamonds have only got three spades so I rebid my diamonds and partner bids to no trump. Here is where I made the error. I passed the two no trump. Now you're allowed to do that. You're allowed to pass any no trump bid made by partner. Right? If partner chooses no trump and you want to pass, you are perfectly within bridge convention to do so, at least for most of CC anyway. But for now, yeah, let's just say, right? But what really could have happened, right? What did we get? We lost imps. Why did we lose imps, right? We made our contract. We made two no Trump. Well, to understand that, let's look at the other table. So this is my table, and here I am in two no Trump. Let's look at the other tables. Right, we're right down there on the bottom. I mean, we're not the worst off, but we're pretty darn close. And here's some people making real imps here. Right, and so what do you see? You see four spades is makeable. Four spades is a good game. How did I miss that? Right, there's your answer right there. Yeah, and if not right there, other way, other pretty right here will be another good answer. This is the bid that should have happened, right, or could have happened. Either one of these, either this one or this one, but let's go with this one. One diamond, these doubles didn't happen on my table. One spade, two diamonds, two no trump, same bidding, three spades, All right? So where are we? One diamond pass, one, one spade pass, two diamonds pass, two no trump, right? Three spades is what I need to bid, three spades. Why? Why is my partner bidding two no trump, right? My partner doesn't have diamond support and doesn't have another suit to name. So what does my partner have? partner has five spades now this one diamond one spade doesn't tell me that partner has five spades this one diamond one spade two diamonds two no trump tells me partner has five spades if partner has five spades and i've got three spades we have a fit in spades if partner's bidding again partner has a good hand if partner didn't have a good hand, partner would have passed two diamonds. Partner is bidding two no trump because partner is showing a decent hand. Not an opening points hand. I can pass this two no trump, right? But a decent hand and five spades. Where are we with a decent hand and five spades? Let me think of a decent hand as somewhere between nine and ten points. The high end 
of a minimum responding hand, right? Responding hand is six to 10 points. The high end of that is nine or 10, right? So up into the 10 point range. Where are we? 12, 13, 14 high total points, right? In spades. Hey, that's pretty good, right? 23 and nine or 10, right? We're getting up into game range. This is where it makes sense. Okay, if you've got three spades, I've got a few spades. I can support, if you've got five spades, excuse me, I've got a few spades, I can support those spades. Let me go to three spades, let me invite you. I've got a, I'm, I've got a decent hand, I'm at the high end of my range, right? Three spades says, my range is 12 to 15, my opening points is a minimum opening hand, but I'm at the high end of that. What can you make out of that, right? Well, partner, look here, we've got nine, 10 total points, 11, 12 total points in diamonds. Count that king, i am bid diamonds twice, that king's gonna be useful, right? 12 total points plus 14 total points is well within the game range. Heck, three spades, four spades, right? You saw it done right here. And that's exactly where it should have been. And this is exactly a partnership that made four spades. What does Double Dummy say? Double Dummy says, not only do you make four spades, you should be making plus one or plus two. So these are, uh, maybe they're not the best players. Maybe their opponents are really, really good. But they made it to game when others of us did not. Right? Here's three spades, a lot of interference by East. Okay, they came up a little short. Uh, again, a lot of interference by East. This is where getting in there and competing is always helpful. All right, three diamonds. Yeah. Here we go. One spade, two spade, pass, pass. All right, not a good description of your hand. All right. Uh, this is coming back to spades late because this is your partner's like, yeah, whatever, right? So the rest of us really didn't pick up the cues like we were supposed to, right? Here, these two were the perfectly bid hands. So what does two no trump mean in the middle of something? No trump is passable, but at any time. But if partner responds with a major and then comes back again with two no trump, partner's telling you something about their hand. And uh, doesn't happen that often, but when you do and you miss it, right, you're missing a whole lot of imps. That's my five-minute bridge lesson. Hope this was helpful. Take care. Goodbye.